Hello and welcome to Total Telecom TV at the FTTH Council event in Sweden. I'm here talking to Tobias Munzer of R&M. Tobias, there's a lot of talk around the place about tablets, video, broadband demand, but people tend to forget about that vital component, the Layer 1 infrastructure. Exactly. This is um, this is our mission at the end. So we are really, let's say, um, taking care about the infrastructure itself because um, we say that this is the basement of the complete installation. So all the traffic which is running over that network is going to that layer one infrastructure, and this is what people forgot a little bit, uh, especially when it comes to that, let's say, capex opex discussion. It is really most of the times purely cost driven, and this is exactly um, where we came into the game and say. It also needs to pay attention there about quality of the network, future proofness, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I mean, this future proofing is a vital question. I mean, how, how can the network keep up? Yeah, there are a few things to take into consideration. I mean, uh, first of all, um, it is the lifetime of the network which is quite important. I mean, a, a, a network which is built stays there for more than 15 or 20 years. So you need to think about what happens in the future today when you're installing it. So. We recommend to keep uh, the network quite flexible, so we know that there are new trends are coming up, um, there are new installation techniques, there are new deployment technolo technologies, there are new architectures which may really come into the game. And this is exactly where we say the infrastructure itself needs to be a kind of flexible, because flexibility makes it future-proof, especially if you take into account that new transmission technologies are coming up. So not only is the time division multiplexing as well as CWDM, different wavelengths on a fiber are coming up and this makes it a little bit more complicated where you maybe need to have also um, a company which consults you in that way that it is really future proof. Yes, because I know you have your Fox cross connect system and I guess you're constantly having to evolve that as well. Exactly, so during the whole development we are thinking about future proofness and uh, we do it with a modular approach. That means the complete system is based um, on modular building blocks which can be easily exchanged. So that typical uh, a bullet point move, add and change is, 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 is done here. As well as, um, let's say, the quality of installation is much important. And this is the reason why we call us installer's best friend. And uh, this is what we are trying to do with our products, to make them kind of intuitive, to install it properly and quite easily, to avoid also installation mistakes, which can then maybe affect problems in the future as well. Well, I'm sure a lot of these network operators need all the best friends they can get at the moment. Um, we've never had a chance to talk to you guys before on Total Telecom TV. Tell us a bit of, of, of the background to the company. I mean, actually, um, the company is uh, having a 50th anniversary. Uh, this year, so R&M is a Swiss company based in uh, Switzerland, in Wetzikon, it's quite close to Zurich. So um, we are a company with around about 800 employees. We are acting more or less worldwide, except uh, Northern uh, America. The rest we are covering, we have different subsidiaries. So R&M is, I would say, an expert and specialist in, in connectivity itself. 50 years experience in, uh, in layer one. So we started actually with a whole copper infrastructure when we are uh, supplying different stuff and uh, since uh, many years as well in the fiber optic business active. Well it's good to know there's someone looking after the layer one network so in the meantime thanks very much for talking to us. Thank you too as well.